Well, that was a tough act to follow. Um, but what I will talk about is a rewarding part of my professional portfolio, which is working with senior executives one-on-one -on -one as a trusted advisor, and to encourage you to consider it adding it to your own practices. So let me start with the client. The client is usually an exceptional human being, a senior executive at the top of the organization. And just like the top of a mountain, this could be a very lonely, windy, invisible place. And from this very peculiar place, he or she has the task to constantly manage growth, change, risk, and uncertainty in an environment that's being shaped by forces way beyond her control. Things like changes in consumer preferences and competitive shifts and demographics. It's basically trying to win a game whose rules are constantly being rewritten. Now, speaking about objectives, well, in reality, an executive has multiple objectives. They are interdependent, they're conflicting, and they're poorly articulated. So then the advisor's job is to help advance the clarity and the conviction behind the executive's thinking, decisions, and actions. Um, I like the movie Analyze This as an illustration, okay? I know it's a mobster movie. It talks about Robert De Niro being a mobster in a New York mafia family, but I find many parallels with today's CEOs. Yeah. Okay, no, 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 hear me out. So the mobster boss uh, is dealing with the Chinese and the Russian mafias coming in. Now, that's globalization in business terms, right? Um, the FBI is picking up all the mobsters and locking them up. Well, that's Urbane's Oxley and regulation. Um, another New York family is in a bloody conflict. Well, that's your cutthroat competition, right? And on um, all that, Robert De Niro himself is going through this soul-searching, life-reevaluating quest for meaning in life, which is ever present theme. Now, in this one scene, uh, Billy Crystal, who is a psychiatrist turned advisor, quote, conciliere. Um, is protesting seriously because he's being kidnapped in the middle of the night from his honeymoon room to talk to the boss. And the boss says, you don't understand. Nobody else talks to me like you do. Billy Crystal says, I take it you don't hear no that often. <laughs> oh, I hear it, but it's more like, no, no, please don't. <laughs> well, Joking aside, Billy Crystal epitomizes the advisor. He's somebody who comes in as an equal, um, in, a, in a spirit of a complete confidentiality in a space where any question can be brought up. He brings, up, um, he brings in an independent point of view, the courage to express it, and a very orthogonal or different set of skills and experiences. And this is why I think that you are well positioned to play that role. First of all, you already have access to these guys because you're in their organizations doing great work. So these conversations will organically emerge. Secondly, when the conversation comes up, well, you have all the skills, as we just heard, and the mindset to be a fantastic in a one-on-one -on -one setting. What you consider as a commodity in this room in terms of ability to be in the moment and listen and interact, well, that's not a commodity out there in the corporate world. That's a very rare, rare presence, all right? Thirdly, you have a, a, an endless bag of tricks and, and games and exercises that can develop insights into the uh, um, executive's mind by just experiencing it in the moment right there and then. Traditional advisors who are coming from MBAs or the McKinsey's, they don't, that, they don't have that skill set. And finally, you have language that can expand their thinking. And let me, let me explain. When I sit down with the CEO and I say something like, target customer segment value proposition, five words. Because it's a common shared language, I can use those five words and convey massive amounts of information and take the conversation to a much more sophisticated level because we share this language. Now, in emerging markets, that language doesn't exist. And I found that just bringing the vocabulary in and explaining what that meant allowed executives to think in a new way and structure reality in a completely different way. Well, you as improvisers, you come in, and now you can talk about your vocabulary that complements the regular business language. Well, you explain the word status, 
And all of a sudden, you have empowered an executive to intentionally choose a different leadership style in a different situation, just because they didn't have the words to put to it before. So, in a summary, um, being a trusted advisor to a senior executive is a very, very privileged role, and you are very well positioned to play it. Thank you. <laughs>